Islanders, welcome to tonight's game, One of Us is Lying. Ooh, all right. <laughs> First up, we have Ronnie and Courtney. Here you go, Rundog. The rules. Our couples will take turns telling one truth and one lie. OK, number one. I was the Australian under-23 bachata champion in 2019. What is bachata? The, the dancing we were doing today. Oh. Yeah. I had a radio show called Courtney's World. Oh. oh. I believe both of those. The other islanders must go full Sherlock Holmes and figure out who's legitimate and who's a liar, liar, pants on fire. Our best liars will win a very special prize that we've had to <coughs> hide away. What Courtney's like? World, that Courtney's doesn't even make sense. Ask. What, was it? what radio station and what time was the show airing? Gold FM, and it was when I was in school, so I was actually a cheerleader at the time. No, 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 bluff. Where, uh, Ronnie, where and when was it held? It was in the Cronulla RSL Club. When? 2019, November. 100%, oh, right. bro, we're right. I can guarantee it. OK, Ryan, who do you think was lying? Um, we think Courtney's lying. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm a terrible liar. If you haven't been able to tell by now, I am so transparent, it's a blessing and a curse. Like, I, I, I have no game. Next up, we have Rachel and Chris. Right. It's going to be difficult, because Chris can talk <laughs> <laughs> Friends secretly gave me a Viagra, and for the next few hours at the races, everyone thought I was very happy to be there. <laughs> That's specific. I've been ranked in the top ten players worldwide of Pac-Man for the past five years. Ooh. Oi, oi, oi. oi. Gather around, gather around. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Pac-Man's pretty outdated. Oh, she plays cool games with yeah. like Pac-Man. <laughs> what, what races and when was it? <laughs> Townsville races and it was in the last year when I was in the army. Oh. Very quick. What platform are you playing Pac-Man on to rank competitively worldwide? So my uncle actually collects arcade games and so I can actually rank on the arcade and you can tell worldwide from Google. You just have to no, Google no, who From Google. No, 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 you don't care. Cap, 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 cap. So much cap. <laughs> That's all cap. Islanders, who do you think is lying? We think Rachel is lying. Yes, yes. we do. I'm really sorry, guys, but you're right. <laughs> Good job, guys. Next up, we have Ari and Aaron. Let's go. Aaron, fire away. All right. I made out with Jennifer Hawkins on a modelling job a few years ago. That's bullshit. Why? Would he not have told us this, though? Yeah. yeah. You would have bragged about that <laughs> so hard. Like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a model and I kiss Jennifer. Oh, my, 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 my. She is blonde, though. She is blonde. I once hooked up with a guy that had a penis that looked like a baby carrot. What? Oh, that's, that happens uh, that's, all the time! You know, sometimes you order one thing and you get another thing. It was not the visual I was expecting. Nice. It's Aaron. Aaron's, Aaron's, Aaron. Aaron's a liar. Everyone's seen a carrot penis. Aaron. All right, we think Aaron's lying. Next up, we have Taku and Jess. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm allergic to cockroaches. And I'm allergic to marshmallows. What does that mean? Like, how, does she eat cockroaches? How do you be allergic to them? No one can them. We think Taku is lying. Hey, man. <laughs> I can't even give <laughs> to him. <her>, <laughs> OK, guys, next up we have Ryan and Lexi. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> I am very interested to see how good at lying Ryan is. He better not be too good. He better not be too good. I was a window washer at a petrol station. I once nail gunned my nuts and end up in hospital. That's true. I believe that. Yeah, that's probably true, eh? Right? I would put it past him. I feel like Lexi no, would be a window cleaner. She's too hot. Can I just ask Ryan how it happened? Uh, I was putting a wall together to try and do it by myself, and as I went to put the trimmer in, it skimmed off the bit of timber and went straight into our nuts like that. Lexi, what's your, what was the petrol station called that you worked at? Um, Gavin Petroleum. She's lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's our answer. Lexi, you're lying. Yes. 
You guys. <laughs> she was playing it too obvious because she was like. I'm a carpenter, brother. <laughs> Look, this is absolute mockery. The one time I had to lie, everyone believed it. And our final couple, Tina and Mitch. Woo. All right, let's go. Yeah. I once told a guy I didn't have a vagina to get him to leave me alone. What? That sounds like Tina. That sounds like a girl. That sounds say. like Tina. And my nickname is Half a Minute Mitch. Oh. <laughs> I hope that's not true. <laughs> how did you get Half a Minute Mitch? Who gave it to you? Where? When? How? All my mates back home. Just obviously kiss, kiss and tell a little bit with all your mates. So. But why would yeah, you tell her that? No, I reckon it's true. No, nah, he's lying. Li Mitch is lying. Tina's lying. Mitch is lying. Tina's lying. Mitch is not going to get Tina's called lying. half a minute, Mitch. He's OK, <laughs> guys, who thinks Tina's lying? Tina's lying. I reckon Tina's lying. I reckon Tina's lying. Okay. All right, can we go Tina? Tina! All right, we reckon Tina is lying. to get that there. Was a great so. story. That was a great story. You sold me. <laughs> that was a joke. One time. <laughs> Half a minute, Mitch, isn't true. I reckon it might have happened once. So, Mitch, how do you feel about this nickname? Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to touch on it. <laughs> Half a minute, Mitch. I think we just broke Australia's heart. I'm a stud, not a dud, all right? <laughs> Thanks for playing. One of us is lying. <laughs> oh, oh, I've oh. got a text. Oh. Hey. Woo. oh, gosh. And the results are in. Ronnie and Courtney and Lexi and Ryan were the couples who managed to convince you that they were telling the truth when, in fact, one of them was lying. Woo. Islanders, it is up to you to decide which one of these couples gets to go to the hideaway. Oh. Oh. Hashtag. Stan. <laughs> okay, and hands up if you want to stand right. <laughs> Go get it, girl. <laughs> Ryan and Lexi, you're off to the hideaway. Yay!